so when i was a kid like when i was in fifth standard sixth standard i went to a very uh, normal school not a convent or any uh, big uh, these days what the kids go to it was a aided government aided school sixth standard varugu nanu aa tara school alle odidu alli nan english i was in an english medium and in kannada medium um, uh, i had a friend who was also my neighbor she used to work in uh, her parents used to work as construction laborers so we we both used to play together after school and all that and uh, when we were in 6th standard she was taken out of school and then in eight, by 8th standard 9th standard she was married off like yeah in this era also there is child marriage and by the time i was in 10th standard she was pregnant with a baby she was of my age all that i had to think about was you know getting good marks writing good uh, doing my homework writing exam studying for my exam and my mother even if i didn't want to eat she used to force feed me but there is another girl of my own age living in the same area and i see i saw so much discrimination here only because of our economic status and even when i got like the highest marks i was not really happy i just felt there are so many women out there who have more potential than me and when they're not even given a chance to compete with me what's the whole point of getting first you know if everyone had the equal opportunity and then i got first in my class that really would have meant something to me that is when i felt like there is so much inequality in this world and uh, it's not just that there are other instances uh, like i was privileged enough to to have parents you know who concentrated on my education and my development but women around me have seen so many cases of domestic violence and you know a lot of such cases that really made me feel like okay we need to work towards this and not just that uh, since childhood every, every time i went out if i saw any problem i had this problem solving kind of attitude what can we do about this how to solve this problem so uh, that really triggered me to enter a public career then i thought okay i should enter politics so i wanted to first be an ias officer because uh, i thought because i don't have a political background it would be better if i become an ias officer enter the system work there for like 15 20 years understand the system get connected and then enter politics that's what i thought that's what my plans were and uh, but then yeah and in fact in my slam book i had even written i want to be miss universe <laughs> and then ias officer all of these things but then uh, i also after my engineering i took a upsc exam and uh, i wrote my mains as well but i had taken mathematics as my optional so i didn't clear my mains my both my sisters are in us they were like why don't you come down do your masters go back and write upsc if you're still interested in that but i knew i don't, didn't want to continue with my engineering field i wanted to enter a public career so i opted for this masters in public policy I applied and I got into two Ivy League universities, Columbia University and Brown University. I chose Columbia University because it was in New York. I wanted to see New York life, and then it was close to UN. And most importantly, uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar studied there. He did his masters there in Columbia University. Also, Obama, two of my mo uh, role models. 